Thank you, sir. Nobody can resist the smell or the uh, taste of fresh baked bread. And the tiny ingredient that gives baked goods such a big lift is, well, yeast, of course. So we're going to head to the lab and have a look at this powerful kitchen helper. Breads, pastries, and other doughy delights, we eat them every day. Each one has its own fluffy flavor. But the one thing they have in common is yeast. You cannot make bread without yeast. In fact, we've been using yeast to make bread since ancient Egyptian times for almost 5,000 years. The Lasoff and Red Star Yeast Company hasn't been baking bread that long, but they do have more than a century of experience making bread and perfecting that one lofty ingredient, yeast. The company is over 150 years old. It was founded by the Lasoff family, and they are still the owners as of today. It's been passed down from generation to generation. Their baking center looks more like a science lab. With world-renowned bakers experimenting, poking, and prodding with all things yeast. Yeast is an organism, you know, like you, so there is no ingredients for making people. That's the same for yeast. Yeast is actually a series of living cells that are so small, you can only see them through a microscope. If you took one seven gram package of yeast to bake your loaf of bread, you probably wouldn't know if there's 10 billion yeast cells in this one package. And each cell has a serious sweet tooth that feeds on sugars to puff it up and make the bread rise. The yeast produces mostly CO2. That CO2 will make the dough bubbles grow and that will make the dough rise. Then fermentation takes over. This is what we call a sponge. It's flour, water, and a little bit of yeast. Um, this has been fermenting for about 12 to 15 hours now and it's easily tripled in volume, if not quadrupled in volume. Of course, without yeast, everything would fall flat. These two doughs have been made with the exact same ingredients in the exact same process. The only difference, one has yeast and one doesn't. In the baking center, they make and test several types of yeast. Liquid yeast is used by large manufacturers, crumble yeast for large bakeries, compressed yeast and dry yeast for home bakers. A baking center like this is, is excellent for a bakery franchise like ours because it allows us to make sure that our product is very consistent across the country with different tests. What we're doing here is some sensory analysis of products that we've made. We measure the texture, the crust, the interior crumb, the flavor of the bread. At the baking center, they've had a few strange requests, including one from NASA to make mini hamburger buns to send into space. That would have a very long shelf life, six months, and still being fresh and making absolutely no crumb. You don't want any crumb to flo float around the, the cabin. Now that's one bread that's out of this world.